My name is Dr. Gina Newsom Duncan, and I am the lead mental health expert with the Steve Funds Families Healing Together Initiative. In my first video of this series, I described the importance of going there with our children, having difficult conversations to ground them and help them make sense of the senseless violence and political turbulence we are living through. But before we can go there with our children, we need to first go there with ourselves. What does that mean? It means being in touch with our own emotions and reactions to the community traumas we are witnessing. Feelings of horror, rage, grief, fear, depression, anxiety, and not allowing ourselves to get numb to it, distracting ourselves with our phones, with social media, with our everyday activities. Why is this important? Because our children are experiencing these emotions. Whether they talk about it openly or not, we can't ignore this. Here are some tips to get you started. One, name your emotions. Grab a piece of paper or a notebook and write, I feel, and then you fill in the blank. Enraged, afraid, overwhelmed, maybe all of the above, write it down. Two, think about a constructive way to release these emotions. Let yourself have a good cry, punch the bed, exercise, tear up the paper you wrote your emotions down on. Now, is this going to make the emotions go away or solve all the issues at hand? No but it's critical to have strategies to release painful feelings in a healthy way. Three, ground yourself in the present moment using your five senses. What do you see, hear, smell, feel, and taste in this moment? And four, bring your focus to at least one thing you are thankful for. Try to come up with a statement that encompasses the reality of the bad and the good that exist in this present moment. For example, I am overwhelmed and scared by what is going on in society. And at this moment, I am thankful for my family, for the sunlight on my face, and for the breath in my body. Now, I know that for some of us, confronting and sitting with painful emotions is triggering because of our past experiences of trauma. If this is too overwhelming to do on your own, please reach out for help. But one thing is for certain, we cannot ignore this and we cannot let ourselves get numb to it. Our children are counting on us to be the healthiest versions of ourselves that we can be. If you're having trouble getting the conversation started, go to stevefund.org slash family corner. Remember, you matter, your children matter, and so does your mental health.